Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2, and in this episode we're going to assault the Dreadnought. Now what is the Dreadnought? It is a giant ship slash fortress that the organization has built to stop us from getting to Twilight Town. But little do they know, I have Smoogly version 2, the strongest gummy ship ever. And it's so powerful, I don't even need a tiny ship. Actually, this isn't really the strongest ship in the world, but it has a lot of guns, and it's going to get the job done. Ugh. It's not really a unique design, it's kind of just the Falcon um, 8 with more guns, and I don't know. It's white and camouflage, and I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. It has more thrusters, and this thing has a lot of guns. Wow, he has a lot of those Blizzard level 3 guns, which are those little white dots shooting everywhere, as well as a gravity gun. Or grav grav gravity level 3 gun. And what does gravity level 3 do? It shoots this one tiny little like cannonball type thing. The thing is, if it hits anything, it's going to have a giant explosion dealing a lot of damage to everybody around it. So all around, it's pretty much the most overpowered guns in the game since you can just hold down the A button, the X button, and destroy everything. And man, oh man, is this one of the best ways to just end the game off. Look at this. Look at this gigantic, awesome battle. Jeez. So cool. <laughs> And also, my Smoogly version 2 is very fast, so I can barrel roll very effectively and maneuver throughout these giant laser beams that are trying to destroy us. I'm going to blow this guy up. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, I got that one, though. <laughs> oh, man. It's just so cool. You got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love the detail they put into this little section. Now, let's see if we can actually get the maximum amount of medals, which I bet we can, which is level 30. Currently, we're level 3 just because it just got hit. Once we get level 30, we're going to be practically invincible. Man, look at all this crap. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. And now we're flying inside of the Dreadnought itself. Why would it even open its hangers? Didn't the Death Star teach them anything? I guess not. But oh well, whatever. Man, uh, it's just the entire organization nobody designed is really cool. It's just white and vacant. It kind of reminds you of, like, French like buildings or cathedrals. I don't know. It's really cool. I, I like things in games like that. Except these ranks. <laughs> Those are the most colorful gun, um, nobody's, nobody's ships. No, no, ah, no, hey, uh. huh, that wasn't too bad after all. Ha, 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 wasn't really meant to be difficult, but when, oh man, there's a lot of dudes in here. Too bad, I have Smoogly, the most powerful gummy ship in the world. And we get more gummy parts, even though this is the last gummy section. Ah, uh, uh. Something actually you can do is, if you go to the third mission of this, which means you have to beat this mission again, and then mission two, you can actually fight a secret boss, but it's really lame. Like, really, really lame. So I'm not going to show it, but it's there if you guys want to do it. It does give kind of a cool reward, though. It's what the um, Screenix producers, I guess, expect the coolest and most powerful gummy ship to look like, which, I don't know, it looks okay. It's nothing to write home about. Not the coolest thing in the world. And eh, maybe I'll show that off in a bonus video, but oh my gosh, the core! The core! dangerous apparently in here not really cuz I have lots and lots of guns and now we're max level 30 now when you're level 30 you get this giant aura around you and apparently your guns do more damage but if you get hit out of it you lose the bonus it is really stinking cool you know it's kind of hard cuz you can't really see your gummy ship and run around bullets but maybe if you have so many guns as I do you don't need to play defensively you are pure offense offensive ship with millions and millions of guns attached to you. No, no, they're grabbed onto me. Curses, and there goes my aura. Oh, well. We'll just get that back up, and wow, that was honestly very... <laughs> Look how tiny this ship is. I don't know. I should, probably should have made it bigger, but... I like tiny ships. I like being tiny and removable. Or removable, eh, whatever. <laughs> and look at this. I just have to... We just took down that entire ship. Oh, man. That was really cool. Uh, don't look at the explosion. Because we're too cool. And there it is. The Assault of the Dreadnought. One of my favorite parts of the game, honestly. Just because it was really, really cool. And we unlock, well, bonus missions if you want more gummy ship parts. And also the highest level of the High Wind. The Falcon and the Invincible. Did we actually get the Invincible? Yes, we did. They're not very good. In fact, my ship is like a million times better. But they're there if you want. Let's see how we did on treasures. Eh, not too good. Most treasures you can't get, actually, until you do the other missions, which... Well, what's really the point? Because the gummy ship parts are over. And getting a better gummy ship really doesn't help anybody, now does it? And man, there it is. Been building up to this point for so long. But now, 
it's finally time to go back where this game started, Twilight Town. Hey, I think we're almost there. Huh? What? Gorge, aren't we here because of the picture? Look, I'll show you. Yeah, this is right. Come on, let's go find this mansion. Yeah. Wow, Goofy, I completely forgot about the photo, actually. I was just coming here because it was the only place we haven't been to. So, ooh, well, there's some plot explanation. And Twilight Town, what has happened to it? Since we've been gone, well, it's been invaded by nobodies. In fact, this is where nobodies are going to appear in very large swarms. In fact, you'll probably notice before, you can't really actually fight dependently a lot of nobodies. I mean, you could probably go back to Beast Castle and fight dragoons, but where'd you find berserkers and gamblers? And Well, here's the answer. They're here. This is the organization's base of operations, apparently, because, well, that's where all the nobodies are located. Now, something I need to point out as a little bit of diversion. You can go straight to the mansion, but you may miss something of very, very importance. Very good importance. What? <laughs> that is not even a word. Now, these tunnels we cannot actually access when we're playing as Roxas. But now we can go through them. So what's uh, the point in that? Well, we can go to Sunside Hill. I think it's called. Is it Sunside Hill? Now yeah, it's taking now. It's the tunnel way, though. Let's get on the skateboard. Why not? Just speed up the adventure. A little bit. I'm pretty sure that chest had nothing important in it, so don't bother with it. Oh, Sunset Terrace or Sunset Tears. Silly me! Now this tram was just here for decorations a while ago, but now it actually has significant importance. Hey, a treasure chest! I want that. What is inside it? None other than an Okachalian Plus. Yeah, you can miss that and never craft ultimate weapon. But I showed you where it is, so there you go. Now to the mansion to get underway with the game. To be perfectly honest, there isn't really much to do in Twilight Town. You can do some bonus mini games, yeah. Uh, which the only real reason they're in the game is to be annoying, because if you do all the little mini games and stuff, you get actually the secret ending. But I'm gonna show you the secret ending anyways, so there's really no point. It's just like really stupid stuff. Like you play the cart mini game again. You play, um. <laughs> Post these advertisements on a wall, and it's really boring. And why am I getting these chests when I could do them off screen? I don't know. I just like to explore these little rooms. They're kind of cool. It makes you wonder why the crap are they even here. Oh well. I'm sure they're part of the sewer system of Twilight Town or something. Eh. And again, probably not, because well, it doesn't really seem like anybody has houses or anything here. It just seems like they're stores. Huh. Well, that I pretty much accomplished nothing but getting a very rare synthesizing material. So let's say we go to the mansion and stop procrastinating. Because I honestly don't want this game to end. I just don't, okay? I just don't. Uh, uh, that's a Samurai. Wow, we haven't seen them in forever, actually. And now I won't do dual stance. I have, I'm done wasting time. It's time we go to the Tram Commons. What? No. It's not where we need to go at all. We need to go to the mansion. Oh, actually, wow, this is where the game all started. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Holy cow. Time sure does fly, doesn't it, guys? Doesn't it? And this is going to have a potion in it. Wow. I play this game too much, apparently. Uh, too much, apparently. And where's the mansion in all this mess? Well, it should be right over here. Yes, that is. Man, oh man. It just, it just seems so familiar. Like we've done this before. Like we're chasing white guys and to the woods and then something happened. Huh. Really makes you think. Man, get away these snipers. Oh, these snipers are so aggravated. Like, I have a thousand health and I'm never gonna die, even though I don't really do a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh well, we're here. It's time to get the final chapter of the game underway. Hey! Are you all right? What happened? We came here looking for Kyrie. Then those white things attacked us. 
You gotta be careful. Yeah. You guys didn't have to go and do that. Of course we did. Kyrie's our friend too, you know. You're right. You know, I never thought of it like that before. Word is, this mansion gets a lot of really strange visitors. We thought this place might be the gateway to some kind of alternate Twilight Town. What do you mean, alternate Twilight Town? Hey, Goofy, do you think we could see that crystal of yours? I made that pouch myself, and I still have it. So, there shouldn't be two of them here. And this is the trophy Cypher gave you. You left it behind, remember? It's the only one of its kind. Same for the crystals. Red, blue, yellow, green. Only one of each color. But you've got your own. So, where'd you get it? Um... The pouch is from the king. When he gave us money for the train ride, he gave us the crystal, too. But then, where did the king get it? See? There's got to be another town out there like this one. That would explain how the king got that pouch and the crystal. Everything makes sense. It does? That other town must be where whatever's missing from here went. Like Kyrie. I get it. King Mickey, great timing. Uh, you have some explaining to do. How did will they, how the crystal exists exactly? Oh well, I guess we can wait to hear his answer after we destroy all of these nobodies with the king. And this part is awesome because you're fighting with King Mickey. It makes you wonder how much could we accomplish if we actually had a fourth party member, King Mickey. Oh, that'd be really cool. But no, the king has to be mysterious and stuff. Not always here, because, well, that would make too much sense. Now, wouldn't it? Man, Cure 3 sure is powerful. Has a really good radius, too, on the healing wave. And wow, these nobodies used to be so difficult. Now they're just practically pushovers. They are so much more powerful now. We've got all those AP boosts. We've got all these abilities. They used to be kind of intimidating. Now they're just same as Heartless. Not really... Much of a difference. No, no, Samurais. Come on, I want to do the dual stance thing. Come on. Somebody do it. Uh. It's honestly a really cool action command. I like it a lot. And once more, best ability in the game. You need that. I'm going to free up spots because you really, really want that ability. Yeah. Um. That doesn't seem like the Samurais are putting up much of a fight either. They don't really seem to care. Huh. Yeah, I guess, well, maybe if I gave them a chance to attack, they could actually do something, but... Well, that's not really how you play Kingdom Hearts 2. You just gotta keep hitting that X button and deny- Oh. Yes! That was such a good ending. And hey, even Donald has Lucky Lucky now. So now we have seven Lucky Luckies. But more on that later. I got something to tell you. I found out where Ansem is. Ansem the Wise. The real Ansem. He snuck into Organization 13 Stronghold. And we've figured out where Kyrie is. I'm pretty sure we're right. But why'd you all come here? Someone gave us a clue. Who? Well, Your Majesty, Sora thinks it might have been Riku. It's just a feeling I had. Welp, if that's what you think, then it's probably right. You mean Riku's okay? If that's what you think. I've waited long enough, Your Majesty. Tell me what you know. It's not for me to say. But Your Majesty... Why? I don't want to break my promise. You made a promise to Riku? So he's okay. I can see him again. Huh? Who's Riku? My best friend. That's it. Your Majesty? You got the pouch with the crystal from Riku, didn't you? And you promised not to tell, right? Gosh, guys. That's enough. Yeah. Let's go. Kyrie. Riku, we're on our way.
fucking Mickey, you knew Riku was g fine the entire time and you couldn't tell me. Ah, uh, oh well, at least he's okay. There's actually some chests over here. I never knew that, huh? Too bad I don't really have anything good in them. Oh well, is there one over here? No, there's not. Well, without further ado, it's time we got to some answers from inside this mansion. I gotta be so a computer somewhere! Uh, a computer? You think that's connected to the other Twilight Town? Oh, it might be, but there should be a way into the realm of the darkness there. Huh, Riku told you that, didn't he? Oh, please, Sora, I made a promise! I knew it. Stop pestering the king! Oh, sorry. Yeah, he is a king after all. Show some respect, Sora. He rules. Whatever he rules. And honestly, there isn't much to do here except one thing, and you want this one thing. Now, I just emphasize this so much, but you really, 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 really want to make Ultima Weapon. If you're going to do the secret boss of the game. And its recipe for synthesizing is in this area. So let's head down these. Uh, head through this door. And look for a computer room. Well, our hunch was correct, since this definitely looks very computer-like. Let's just let's check out this room real quick. No Chalium. Huh, statue staring at the floor. Huh. I guess it is. Well, there are nobodies to fight here, but I honestly don't care. Because we get to find a way to the alternate Twilight Town. There! We found it! How does it work? I can handle it. Okay. Here we go. Oh. What's wrong? I can't go any further without a password. Do you have any idea what the password might be? Mmm. Well, we only got this photo. <laughs> Yeah, the one Donald ate up. It was in the box right next to the photo. Hey, that's it. And some the wise loved ice cream. Okay, what's the name of the flavor? Duh. Duh. What was the name of the flavor? I don't remember. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to do that in the next episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2, guys, where we try and jog Donald's memory and maybe get that popsicle back so we can t tell what flavor it was and get the password for this computer. So, uh, be right back while I go inside this duck's stomach.